Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 6 of this Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, March of the Vikings. This is, of course, a part of the Mega Campaign. In the previous episode, we joined a couple more wars against the Finns. We successfully, kind of, uh, pinched land from our vassal, so Austergaard land is now our county, as well as Gotland, though he still has just and... Orland. Man, those are confusing. Orland and Orland. <laughs> I think he's still pronounced that as an O. Because that A with the circle above it is pronounced like an O as well. Yeah, it's confusing. Um, Swedish. So, we are still kind of work on deposing this chap. Somehow. I mean, we might be able to do another plot against him. But whether we want to do that right now, I'm not sure. Because we wouldn't be able to raise the tribal army again if we did go, go that route. Although we should have more than enough troops to actually defeat him. We have 2,000 men that we can raise against his 200 from there and 150 from there. So maybe we should. Um, no, we can't. Probably because we did that fairly recently. It would be nice if it told us why we couldn't do it. Nope, don't know. Anyway, I would say let's just start skipping through time and see where that gets us. We are still building up the Austergartland area. As you ponder new ways to improve your realm, court physician approaches you with an idea. My Jarl, if you were to institute a system of provincial apothecaries, the health of our subjects would improve significantly. In turn, I'm sure they would be more productive. You know what? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, do it. It also gives me some more prestige, which I can then, in turn, use to buy some more buildings. Which would be nice. I would quite like to get the practice range. Or Weaponsmith. And I'd really like to start raiding, but I think we're still about 100 years away from that. So maybe I should invest in getting a shipyard and then I can start raiding before anyone else and make lots of money that way. My liege, my, listen, my mission to Upland has been a success. Sigurd likes me more. Why would this one pass from my realm? His father just died, apparently. So why would this title pass, but this one wouldn't? I don't have any claims to it, unfortunately. Maybe I should start fabricating one. Now that they're divided, they'd be even easier to take out. I still can't just revoke the title, unfortunately, because the council won't let me. Could try and imprison him. Uh, how long until I can switch these. Oh, I can, already. In that case, you need to come over here and get a claim on that. Here, we need to start working on this. And we need to start working on our council. So, first of all, oh, I just moved her. Can I fire her? I can't. Should have fired her first. Again, another thing I didn't know. Um, that's going to be really annoying because that's one vote against. So we're cancelling each other out. So I need to get at least two of these guys voting on my side. Oh wait, no. You'd be voting on my side. So that's two for one against. There's five on the council. I would break a tie. 
So basically I'm the sick. Alright, what do you want? I don't want to be imprisoned. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very true, you don't. You really don't. And who else am I gonna get? Frederick. Opinion thirty one, opinion forty one. See I'd rather have the one to have a high opinion of me. Do it. Alright. Let's do that. We owe two things. That's two people. The Lords of Alscotland have approved the institution of medium tribal organization law. Excellent. Okay, good. So I did have to pay out two favours for that, unfortunately. If there were any other things that I would want to change, now would be the time. Are there any other laws I wish to change? Um... Can't change that. Invoke titles cannot be voted on by the council. Oh, I see. These actually increase my vassal limit. So if it, if the council can vote on it, I have more vassals. If I don't let them vote on it, then they can't. I can't do another vote for five years. Okay which kind of makes the vassal voting thing for 36 months a bit weird. Oh no, that would be three years. No, it's still three years. What's the point of that? So yes, having the good chance, uh, good, yeah, Chancellor still in place is a good thing because that means I'm more likely to get this claim on just, which means I can strip him of his title, take it for myself and then work on Orland. could definitely do this. I mean, we have 400 points in military now. Ah, just don't like having to pay for things I get for free. <laughs> oh, that's only the shipbuilding technology. That wouldn't actually build me it, I don't think. Which would still cost the 300 prestige. Alright, so we have the training grounds. We're very close to getting the next... Uh, no, we're not. We're at 205. I was misreading that. We need 300. Right here. I am pleased to hear that after a peri period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Gotland is doing very well. People are happy and tax collectors are reporting record intakes. New York is pregnant. As a celebration. Here we go. Prospering. Local revolt risk minus 1. Local tax modifier plus 10. Disease resistance minus 10. Levy reinforcement rate plus 20%. Prosperity will increase with time, but will be hampered by negative province modifiers or disease and sieges. Construct hospitals to keep the province clear of hostile armies to ensure the county continues to prosper. So now that we are prospering, that looks to be like a level one, so I guess there are different tiers of it. Um, we start to become susceptible to disease. But it does earn us more money, which is lovely. Child acts at education focus. So you are now 12 years old, you can get a formal education. You are absolutely going to be a steward. You have really good stewardship skills. Timid, indolent, curious. Intrigue, learning, learning. Brooding conscientious get a bonus, while indolent and haughty get a penalty, so maybe not. Affectionate and curious. You are curious, so you could actually do well with learning, because you don't have any of those negatives. And you are timid and you are indolent. So actually learning would be the best, because you are not brooding or playful. So we would have the biggest bonus from learning. So we'll 
take that. How's the eldest son doing? You are now 14. You're going to be pretty good. Oh, we have you guys. Um, don't really need you. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Now, when can I improve 74? Now, I'm making a good amount of money at the moment. Could do with going to war sometime soon, though. And then we need to start thinking about how we want to expand further within Svitiod. Or outside of Svitiod, even. Like, do we want to start thinking about attacking some of these guys to try and take some territory? Take down Estonia. Because I could do that. I could um, get a claim on the Duchy of Estonia, take it, which would give me the vassal of Estonia, which is this chap. And expand outwards that way. Because I do have a fairly large army. I might well be able to defeat them. Daughter was born to Jarl Mordred the Brute and Imbjorg, named Linda. I need another name. Morda? I don't think I have a Morda yet. Do I? I might do actually. I have so many daughters. <laughs> Mordgana, Mordana, Mordri, Mordli, and Morda. Okay. The line of the Mord shall grow very long indeed. Two children lack. Childhood focuses. These are the twins, and you are quick. You look like you would be very good for etiquette. And your brother? What does being a twin give you? Just that you like each other more. Uh, military, I would agree with that. Let's put you into struggle. Okay, good. There's a peasant for revolt going on over there, and they actually did win. Oh yeah, can I get a retinue yet? One of my favourite features in this game is retinues. No, I can't. Ooh, what's this? I cannot call tribal or nomadic vassals since you are not an independent ruler. I can raise vassal levies. I mean, my personal levies are by far the biggest. And this is the button that the, uh, the king has been pressing to call us all into a war. And he can do that because he's an independent ruler. So can we see the vassals owed me? Who would it be by? Could have sworn it was because of a, a little line that gets drawn in here. And it would show the percentage, but it's not, so I don't know. Um, so how big is Estonia? 400 men. Oh, I just died, so never mind. 600. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, your player is Klaus of Ostergaland. And Ingbjorg is now my regent. And Torbrander is no longer... Okay, the, the whole council gets fired. Jarl Mordred I feasts in Valhalla at the age of 69. He died of severe stress. Although not especially blessed, we hope Mordred will find peace in the afterlife. And Klaus of Ostergoutland was a lost title, but he is still a vassal because I'm still the Jarl. Jarl Mordred II, merely 15 years old, the realm is left in capable hands of the Regent and Council. Long live Jarl Mordred II. How... When's your birthday? 6th of October, so you are one year away. I think you need to be 16 to actually inherit. So we need to keep you alive for almost a year. But we have a regent who actually genuinely likes you, so we should be alright. Are you the mother? No. Okay, on the council. Can I actually put a child on the council? No, I cannot. The council is probably going to be much the same. And in this instance, it's actually Hollow's your mother, so she probably quite like you, except she can't actually be promoted to it. Right, first things first, our army is the most important asset that we have. So we do still need Holmger on the army. So our Chancellor isn't going to be quite as strong, but I think we'll have... 
Nupper on there. And I guess we'll get the learning guy next. Well, actually, no, we'll go for the steward next. We have an amazing steward. Wow, I didn't realise quite how good he was. Spy master, high intrigue, high opinion. I'll take you. And then you have a very high opinion. Interesting. Okay, so we are going to continue fabricating claims just. We are going to continue to train troops and to build our legend and to study technology in Constantinople. And we'll deal like guess because it gives us free troops should we need them. And the minor titles can more or less remain the same, although I might give the Muscadia in the council, medium tribal organization. So this vassal is really unhappy, but he's the one that we're trying to oust. So I don't think we're going to have too many problems. And he's not really in a position to do anything against us. Although, actually, should not have put you in Constantinople just yet. We should have had you scheming so we can uh, discover any plots being done against us. Because our two vassals are very likely to be plotting, actually. Oh well. We'll just have to try and survive in the meantime. I cannot yet get an ambition because I'm not old enough. And otherwise I'm brave and diligent and chaste. That's unfortunate. Uh, more levies. That's good. But now that I have lost Mordred, my levies will be way down. So you've lost almost 500 men uh, that I could potentially raise here. Although we do still have a very large military. And we can't raise these guys anymore because that's a vassal. So we need to keep him happy. Or rather the regent, which is Alvor. Valdemar really wants to go outside. Sorry, really wants to go inside the scary haunted house. It looks, looks like it's dangerous and we've been told not to go near it. I don't want to go in there. Everyone around me improves and I may gain willful. Or I can do this and I gain prestige. He's brave. He should do it. So yeah, what are my traits? Brave, diligent, chaste. Chaste reduces chance of having children, doesn't it? Which is not very good. Gives you more piety, but eh, not exactly important. I do think I inherit the wealth of my father, though I'm not earning as much because I've lost one of my counties. And there we go. I've come of age. I've finished my education. I feel that I've truly found my calling. We have a brilliant strategist from the start. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Marvellous. I play hard and talk straight. I have no time for nonsense. Loses the trait rowdy and gains the trait honest. You know what? He's actually pretty decent. So we have a brilliant strategist, which means he has a martial skill of 16. That's almost as good as his father was. Brave, diligent, chaste, honest. And he starts with a direct leader. So he's very good at leading from the centre. So we may well be promoted to the marshal again for Svitiot, because we are pretty strong. Gains a title from Liege. I wouldn't mind having some more titles. I wouldn't mind being a councillor either. I'd like to earn some money. I would need 500. I can't see myself doing that. And grooming an heir is a fairly easy one. We're still young. Uh, Paragon of you No, no. Don't want to become king just yet. Acquiring another title of any kind. I think that's probably the one that we want to go for. No, we want to go for the councillor actually. We don't want to be seen as being too ambitious, otherwise the king will be scared of us. And I think, like the father, we could probably be a hunter. Or even war. Like, we are a pretty decent warrior, and we have actually got better diplomacy than Mordred I had, so our vassals are going to like us more. You know what? Let's say we're, we have a war focus. Alright, next up, we need to find a wife. So, my religion... My culture is an adult, but that's not actually necessarily important. So we can just get a um, betrothal rather than married immediately, if we find someone who's a genius. Uh, women, not married. Search all. Okay, 
Let's sort by military skill, just have a look. Oh, we have a couple of quick people. Quite a few quicks, actually. Huh. Marry his mother. No. <laughs> just no. Uh, you're not too bad. I don't really want intrigue. Learning is kind of pointless. I'm liking the look of uh, Roganfrid here. So she's terrible at stewardship. In fact, all of these are pretty poor at stewarding. Uh, what are you? You are gluttonous, trusting, cynical, honest. Mm, not the best traits. Freya, you are quick, diligent, arbitrary, zealous, and paranoid. You do have better intrigue, so as so long as I keep you happy, that would be better. But then, if you have high intrigue and I don't keep you happy by taking a concubines that I take in war, then that would not be a good thing. What about stewarding people? Do we have any decent stewards? An ambitious hedonist? Mm, not great. Zero in diplomacy, that's a rather not. I think Roganfred is looking like the best one. Let's see if we can get you. Yep. And we would be marrying into house... Oh, we're marrying into the house of the king. Interesting. This could give us some interesting claims, actually. And we get 100 prestige from marrying the relative of a king, and he agrees because he really likes us. Let's do that. And speaking of the king your youngest daughter. It would be my house. During a mission to try and fabricate a claim entitled Just My Chancellor Has Been Murdered. Oh. Alright, we need a new chancellor then. We have no decent chancellors. We probably need to bring one in, so let's do that. Let's bring a noble to court. Bring him to give us a bit more, of, uh, <coughs> bit more of an option. So, Colbjorn is an alright one. He's not great. He's actually a better fighter, so we could make him a commander. But the others are even worse. Oh, you are just outright rubbish. Alright, we'll bring in Colbjorn. And we'll continue fabricating claims on Chust, because I want the claim so I can strip the other guy of the title. We're getting married! We can collect a royal aid duty. We can take money or prestige. Um, we've actually got a lot of money already, so I'm going to take the prestige. Okay, we are married, and we can request a council position. Really, it would cost us 50 prestige. Who's his current council? I can see that in here. Liege council. Your current marshal is this guy. He is a marshal 20, and he is of the same house, which is usually of a benefit. He is the son. Is he the heir? He's probably the heir. You are a friend. I don't particularly want to depose my friend. Especially if you're going to be the... Hmm, this is interesting. If you are the heir... To this kingdom, which you are. Having a f my personal friend as the king will be phenomenal. So we'll wait. Unfortunately my ambition is the wrong one. Wow, you're pregnant? No, right. <laughs> my wife is pregnant and I couldn't possibly be the father. Everyone knows Alpha of Westerman land. Who's Alpha of Westerman? Is he the rubbish one? He's totally going to be the rubbish one, isn't he? Uh, let's have a look at my court. Where's that? It's in here. Oh, he's not actually one of mine. Who's the father then? It's 
So I could throw my wife in prison, but she is the daughter of a king, so I'd rather not do that. And the Swedes are declaring war on people again. Who is it this time? Them. Hmm. I'm not going to join you in this fight. Except I am. <laughs> Alright, let's raise my personal levies. Join in. We still have a pretty big army. And in fact, I do want to join in. Because I gain skills for um, joining in battles. Hopefully I get there in time. I totally won't. That is unfortunate. Ah. You want to appoint me as a commander? Yes, please. And I would like to just join your army so I don't need to move myself. Cool! No, I don't want to join... Hang on. Yeah. Follow the king. There you go. So my opinion of my wife is going to be pretty low. I want to know who this other guy is. <coughs> Alpha the Cleansing Flame. Who is he? My rival. Chief of Vesterman Land. Chief of Gastric Land. And he absolutely hates me. Where's Vesterman land? Oh, no, it's Vestergaard land. Farmland, Yon. Where is this place? Oh, it's there. Um. Let's stir up a bit of trouble and claim his throne or his county. Is he a count? Yeah, he's a count. I should have a bigger army. Chief of Vesterman Land, Chief of Gastric Land. Where's Gastric Land? It's there. Oh no, he might actually have a better army than I do. Well, I'll just use mercenaries. Rogan Fjord has borne the child of another man. I cannot believe this betrayal. My opinion of her changes by a hundred. Unfaithful harlot. But I'm pretty sure that... Oh, wait. We were already married, but did she know that she was pregnant before we got married? I don't know. The timeline is very, very close, so it could have been before we were married, in which case, fine. But if it was after we were married and I find you're being unfaithful still? If it happens again. If it happens again. I wish I could just outright ask her, because she's honest. <laughs> yeah, everyone dislikes her. Great. And I can spend money on building stuff, which I would like to do, because I would like a bigger market village, so I make more money. Marvellous. And on that note, I will end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or advice for me, do let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.